zombie. Oh gosh. We got him. We got him. Oh no. Oh, nice. Oh, whoa. Oh, uh oh, what's going on? What's happening? What's happening? No, what's happening? This one belongs to the rift. What is this place? Ahahaha, <laughs> welcome to the rift for all eternity. No, this can't be. I can't be trapped here. There is no escape from this place. You are doomed. Please, no. Wait, you? How can this be? This is impossible. No, you can't. Our work will be undone. Man, where am I? What happened? I have no idea what's going on here, and I don't recognise I don't recognise this area at all. This feels this feels very new, very new indeed. And look, I don't have any items either. What has happened? Oh man. Okay, we need to get geared up, I guess. We, I don't know what's going on. So the last thing I remember, we were fighting the Withers with our friends, with Lime, Poppy, and Avo and it, it, the fight wasn't going so well. Then then I disappeared and I was sucked into the rift. Remember that? Oh man, that place. I'm not quite sure what happened there because we were only there for a very short time and then we disappeared again. I heard some voices, but I couldn't quite make out what was being said. And now now we're here just trying to cut down some trees and get some items. I think, I think we must have lost. I, I mean, I don't know where everyone else is. Oh man, this is this is terrible. Maybe maybe everyone else was was killed in the fight. Maybe I'm the only survivor. Oh no. Okay, I guess I'm just going to try and get some items, hunker down and try and live a very peaceful life. So we're still chopping down trees and I've got quite a bit so far, which is uh, which is good going. Always good to have plenty of wood uh, when we start out in what looks like a brand new world. This <laughs> I really don't know what's going on. Hopefully we can find out some answers uh, along the way. Um, maybe we can meet up with our friends again. Maybe we'll find them. Who knows? Maybe we'll find out what happened to them. Uh, at least that. At least find out what happened to them. That's uh, Hopefully we can do that. So I've been chopping down all these trees and over here, look at this, what i found. Look, there is a village. Now this is, this village looks like it's a bit over, overgrown and uh, run down. Look, there's lots of plenty of cobwebs over there. So let's, uh, let's get on over there, see if there's anything uh, useful in the chests uh, that might be in the village. And also hopefully there'll be a bed as well. So we can sleep the night away and uh, yeah, avoid any, any nastiness that might happen at, uh, at night time. The sun is setting and look at this. Look what I found here. Look at this cave entrance. Holy jeez. And there's some new ores over there that I've not seen before. Looks like that may be copper. Look at this. Look, looking looking good. Right, we need to we need to sleep. So let's uh, let's get on up here, I guess. And yeah, we can sleep. Do one of these houses have a bed in? I've gone through all the houses. Nothing very interesting uh, to report. But uh, yeah, this is going to be <laughs> it's going to be interesting for sure. Well, this is not a great start. I just felt. <laughs> I just fell into the cave. Oh jeez! All the items are down there. I was just jumping around. I was jumping. Where was I? I was jumping around somewhere, and I think I fell down. There they are. Look, all the items are down there. I was jumping around over there just to get a look around, see what I can see, and already, already hit the dust. Right. Let's see if we can get these things without too many issues. Oh jeez. Uh oh. Uh oh. Not as bad as. Get out of here. I found some bees. So there's some bees over here. I also noticed there's some, oh yeah, there's another one over there as well. So a few bees over here. And look at this, we've found a jungle just over here. So I've just come from that direction. So there's a savannah over there. That's where I just came from. So the the, uh, the abandoned village is just over there, just over that hill. And we've come this way. And I started going into this cave and there was a, a skeleton that gave me some hassle. So I've just been uh, cooking up some food, uh, trying to uh, regain my health a little bit. So we need to uh, certainly get some better gear using wood tools still. <laughs> Nothing in here, super interesting. Okay, let's pop out here. And there is our jungle. So I think we're gonna uh, keep going in that direction and see if there's anything more anything more interesting. See if we can find a nice spot to uh, to uh, yeah, call home. Oh, what's this over here? Another village. Oh, nice. Okay, let's go over there. Villages are always good. See if we can get some goods with those and also some trading. That sounds like a plan. And here it is. Here's the village we just saw. Just uh, yeah, just boating over here so we can uh, investigate and see what's inside. Uh, also, look, I noticed over here there's a shipwreck. So why don't we head over there first, see if there's anything interesting in the chest over there. Okay, jumping in. There's a chest. Let's see if there's anything good in here. 
Uh, okay, plenty of paper, bit of buried, buried, treasure, buried treasure, treasure map. That can be useful. Let's uh, let's get out of here before we drown. <laughs> so the treasure chest is around here somewhere. So looking at this, if we can get just a, just above the uh, just above the cross as best we can, and then what we can do is we can we can hit our F three to look at our, our look at our chunk uh, chunk coordinates, and if we go to nine nine. That should be hopefully where it is. So it should be over here. There we go. Nine nine. Right. Let's uh, dig down here, and a chest hopefully should be underneath us. Let's see. It is. Oh, there it is. And let's let's breathe before we die. <laughs> don't want to drown. But there is a chest. Let's see what's inside it. Let's go down, and we got oh diamonds already. Look at that. Check it out. And some iron. Yes, very good. That will be super useful. Right. What do I want to get rid of? Now on the way to the village, and over there I just spotted. There we go. There are some some uh, some pumpkins. So that's good. We can always uh, grab those. It'll be good for trading and stuff like that. So uh, let's yeah, yeah, let's head into the village. As I said before, see what's inside. And I probably didn't pick up the boat, did I? know because my inventory is full. <laughs> oh man, what do I throw away? Let's throw away a pork chop. I think I would rather have the boat. Okay, <laughs> let's head into the village. See what's inside. I've explored pretty much all of the houses. We've got this one over here, which looks like it's a library. We've got some bookcases in there. That could be super useful. And if you want to get an enchantment set up uh, done quite early, then we can use these books. So let's, uh, yeah, got plenty of bookshelves here. What's it? a lectern? Oh, there's a book on here. The Prophecy? Uh, okay, let's read what this is all about, shall we? The village folk are peaceful and always willing to help anyone that is in need. Above all, we love to trade our goods with others. Many moons ago, our peaceful way of life was shattered by the evil one who cursed our people. This curse prevented us from speaking. Now we can only murmur. Monsters now appear in the dark and attack our towns at night. The prophecy states that a hero will one day help us. They will protect our people, lift the curse, and banish the evil one. Legend has it that the curse can be lifted using the breath of a dragon killed with an arrow of the spectrum. One day, our hero will emerge. One day, our hero will emerge. Okay, well, that is a cool. That's a cool story, bro. <laughs> That's a. I'm gonna. I'll take the book. And we'll probably take the lectern as well if I've got space in my inventory. No, I don't. Okay, let's. Uh, in fact, let's get rid of that. Uh, get rid of the chicken. We don't need that. I don't think. So we can drop that. Get that. Okay, that's always good to have. Right. So I think we're going to do some more exploring. And that story. That's a bit worrying. This area seems like there's issues in this world. But uh, you know, we've uh, we've been involved with issues before. I just want to steer clear of all that kind of stuff. I just want to set up a house. Just you know, just leave out my days here. I guess. Just chill, just relax, and not get involved with any kind of other problems. So let's continue exploring, see what else we can find. I think what we'll do next is find find a good spot to settle down, build our house, and then I guess we'll have to go cave in, get some resources, and then we can build up our, our actual house that we're going to live in. At least this, for the start of this uh, for the start of this journey, see how we got. And in fact, there's a big plains area over there. Looks like that might be a good space for a house. All right, let's go and check it out. Yep, this plains area looks pretty good for a place to live. So we can build our house up here, our starter house. But uh, there's one thing. <laughs> there's an outpost just over there but I think it's far enough away so it shouldn't cause us any issues now there's also a ravine just over there which I had a look, quick look in it doesn't seem to go anywhere but I did manage to get uh, some some uh, some coal from there so we've got some torches but I think what we're going to do now is just going to sleep here and then uh, try and find another cave somewhere else that's a bit a bit more interesting so yeah I can scout around see if I can find something yeah let's go caving okay this looks more interesting it looks like this goes pretty deep and i can already see uh, some glow berries there so it should be quite pretty good this is just inside the jungle the village is that way and i should say before i left the village i've uh, secured the villagers i've uh, made sure they went into the houses used the workstations to kind of lure them in and then just blocked off the doors so they are safe and sound so nothing to worry about there but let's get into this cave and see what this uh, <laughs> what these new caves are actually like okay we've got some friends already <laughs> shield yes <laughs> <laughs> okay, so there's there's a good oh there we go. Monster Hunter, our first mob. Yes, very good. Right, so over here, look at this. There's a nice big area down there. So we should probably go and have a look. Check that out. That's looking pretty nice. And well, there's an enderman over there. Don't want to get involved with that. And also this goes down pretty deep. Look how deep this goes. I think let's go, yeah, let's go this way first. And yeah, get some ores and whatnot. Because we need to get geared up. We are, our armor is not very good at the moment. Not today, thank you. <laughs> Try again. <laughs> Oh geez, this is actually quite dangerous. Oh yeah, that's it, Spider, go get him, go get him, kill him for me. <laughs> that's it, good job Spider. 
<laughs> okay, let's see who wins, and then I can take out the other one. Get out of here! Get out of here! These caves feel a lot more dangerous than before, I have to say. But here's our first piece of redstone. Oh, here we go. Speak of the devil. It is danger itself. Get out of here. Carried on here. Oh, look at all this. This is so nice. These caves. Just, I mean, this is the first one we just come in. But uh, yeah, this is looking really cool indeed. So we're just going to keep exploring and see what we can find. Keep lighting up. Now, we don't need to light up so much as before because uh, mobs now spawn only at like level zero, uh, not at seven as before. So yeah, this should make it a little bit easier to make safe. So yeah, just try and make our, at least our pathway home safe again so we can get up over made a little station over there with uh, yeah, a chest and a furnace, that kind of thing. And yeah, just going to continue, see what else we can find. And look at this, our first axe lord. Let's see if we can grab him. There we go, we got him, the cutest predator. <laughs> Very nice indeed. Oh yeah, and over here, look at this. I think this is a geode. This is gonna be our first geode, so maybe we should knock in here. Whoa, whoa, ow. We shoot. Get out of here, guy. Bring you fell down there. I hope we're safe. <laughs> and we're collecting our first pieces of amethyst. Look at this. Very good. And this one as well, maybe. So I've been mining ores around here in this area and I've still got quite a few down there that I haven't picked up and I've managed to get pretty much uh, fully geared up uh, with iron armor and stuff just to ke keep us going. So yeah, pretty easy to find, uh, in this case, pretty easy to find stuff, uh, pretty easy to find the resources you need. So now I think that I've done enough exploring around there for now. I think I want to go down here, so go, a bit, go a bit deeper. There's some deep slate down there, so let's see how far this goes. Hopefully we can uh, survive. You can see my shield has taken quite a lot of damage. There's quite a lot of mobs here. And we are descending into the depths. <laughs> this looks pretty, actually pretty scary. Uh, so there's quite a few mobs here and there. So I've noticed that because these caves are now much more open, um, there seems to be more mobs around and they can track you obviously from a while, from a distance away. But yeah, that's, uh, we seem to be doing all right so far. But yeah, all these mobs are, is a bit nerve wracking, I must admit. There we go. All right, not too bad. Okay. So you need to light this place up as we go. Look at this. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> this is looking super cool. Very cool indeed. Let's see how far, how deep this goes. I certainly wish this deep slate was a bit easier to mine. Um, I want to use some of this in my house, I think. But uh, yeah, this is going to be pretty cool getting uh, a lot of these resources. Wait, wait, what was that noise? Oh, one sec. What was that noise? I heard there's some zombie or something going on. What? What is going on? I haven't been down here. Why is there a torch here? There's a block on the floor. What is going on here? This is weird. Sounds like a zombie was dying somehow. But, uh, oh look, there's a flesh. Wait, what? Is this possible? I don't know what's going on. This something weird is going on here. Anyway, we're back here at the Lush Cave and over there, that's where our little uh, our kind, of, kind of forward mining base is. We've got our chests in there and stuff like that. So yeah, I've been I've been that way a bit and now I want to go this way. It looks like this way may, may go somewhere. A little scout out uh, just beforehand. So hopefully we can go this way. We might actually find uh, some more interesting things. So this looks like it's more a bit more lush. <laughs> oh, there's a fish in a fish in the water there. Let's drop down here. Whoa. Okay, let's see. Let's see where this goes, shall we? And we've got some tropical fish in the water. <laughs> and they're being washed down here. Oh, there's lava down there, boys. Watch out. Watch out. <laughs> well, let's go down here. Oh, look at this. Look at the vines, the glow vines. Oh, there's a spore blossom up there as well. Very cool, very cool. All right, let's go down here and see where this ends up. We found some slimes. We must be in a slime chunk over here. That's good news. Always good to have some slime balls. So over here somewhere is a slime chunk, I guess. So we might be able to make use of that a bit later on if we remember where this is. But yeah, just been scouting around, trying to find some good stuff. And this caught my eye. There's a little gap over there. So if we go up here and look in here, I uh, had a quick look already, but look at this. Oh, wow. Look at this. This is huge. This huge cave. Oh, wow. These are so cool. So look what's down here. Oh, look at this. Look at this. Okay, there are mobs down there we need to worry about. But this is going this is going pretty deep. Look at that all the way down. There's lava down there. They've got lava level. Wow. Okay, you might be able to see some diamonds in here if we uh if we take our take our step carefully. Alright, let's explore. Oh, 
We eventually made it out of the cave in one piece. Uh, got a good haul of stuff out of there. So now I'm looking for some, well, I'm actually looking for some spruce trees because I think uh, spruce trees are my favorite and that's what I want to use for my house. So I thought I'd uh, take a boat. Look at how big this river is. This is, this is a river. The whole thing is a river. So this thing is absolutely huge. And uh, yeah, I thought it'd be good to take, take a boat around now that the rivers are a bit bigger and hopefully a bit, a bit of an easy way to travel around the uh, early game at least. And yeah, see what other kind of uh, terrain there is. See if there's anything cool. See if we come across a mountain, that kind of stuff. And look at this. Look what I found. There's a doggo. Let's. Uh, I think we need. We need a pet. Let's go. Let's go and see if we can. We can capture him as a pet. So I've got. I bought some bones with me. I always kill like to carry some bones you know, just in case. It was good for bone meal, or you know, if we do come across a dog. I was kind of hoping uh, we might find one. So let's because uh, we're going to the you know, looking for spruce. Yeah, spruce trees. Uh, so let's see if we can find. There he is. Here's a doggy. Come on, doggy. Is he gone? Come back here. We need to be friends. Friends forever. Have. Yeah, there he is. Best friends forever. And I'm going to name you Indiana. <laughs> spruce Ahoy. There we go. We found a spruce forest. That's what we're after. So we can go over there, get some saplings as well, so we can bring them back and grow some more. So yeah, the uh, the river we were in kind of uh, kind of ended over that way. So came in land. We brought Indy with us <laughs> for protection. <laughs> so yeah, we're going to go over there, get some, get some spruce trees. And then once we've got that, we get back to base and then we can start building our starter house. Yes, this is going to be cool. Can we just take a minute to appreciate this scenery? Look at this. This world is looking amazing. Look at this stuff. It's so good. There's our spruce trees over there. But yeah, this this world is looking really good. I'm really looking forward to finding some mountains. We haven't seen any just yet. But yeah, this world so far is looking very nice. Wherever we go, there's always nice features. Oh, look at that. <laughs> donkey on, the, on top of that hill. Hey, donkey. <laughs> we found another doggy. <laughs> So I think, I think we'll tame this one as well. So we've got Indiana over there. We've got Indy. So this one over here, I feel like that's so Indy is is our, our boy dog. And I think this one over here, don't, don't ask me why, but I think this is a girl dog. So we're going to uh, tame this one. So Indy's got a companion. There we go. And this one is going to be called Ripley. After gathering up a bunch of spruce, we've made it back to base and we're joined by our wonky headed Indy and Ripley. <laughs> we're back safe and sound. And here's our little starter area. Planted some uh, some trees here so we could harvest these. We haven't got to go back to the spruce forest for that. And I've also planted over some sugarcane over there that I've been manually harvesting for now. Obviously, we're going to be building some farms and whatnot in the future. But to start off with, just some manual, some manual farm to get us going. And I've made a start on our house, our rectangular rectangular house is going to be right here so i've got a few ideas to make this kind of interesting ish but yeah this is going to be our starter house just want to get things going get some get a storage area inside so we can uh, don't have all these uh, janky chests out out here but yeah i think it's time to get building got a couple of chests over here filled with all the materials so yeah let's roll as you watch me build up this starter house, there's a few things I want to talk about. Now I'm going to break the fourth wall here a little bit, so I hope you don't mind. But yeah, it'd be good to get into a few details uh, of some things coming up. So first of all, uh, this what are the series plans? Well, as you may or may not have realized, there is going to be a bit of a storyline uh, that flows through uh, this, this series from episode to episode. And I'm going to try and add some cutscenes here and there like we've seen already. And yeah, a little pro tip here, make sure you watch the end of the video. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. <laughs> so that makes things a bit more interesting to watch, I think. And also uh, that can help help us in terms of the law of the land, uh, help us with what, what builds we're going to build where and what kind of style, that kind of stuff. So hopefully it makes the whole thing a bit more interesting as we go. Of course, we're still going to be building a mega base. We've got, I've got ideas for a big storage system and also lots of farms. So in terms of farming, we're not going to be worrying about efficiency so much, but lots of fun, lots of interesting and different ways of doing things, hopefully coming back to our roots. So hopefully that'll be, uh, yeah, super interesting. And as there's going to be more of a storyline to this series, what I'd really like to see is some super cool fan art. So I've uh, given my website a bit of a bit of a facelift, bit of a lick of paint, and there's a page on there for, uh, showing off um, some fan art that's been submitted to me on Twitter. So if there's anything you see that uh, inspires you to do some fan art, then uh, feel free to do that and send it to me on Twitter. You can get me at Logical Geek Boy on Twitter, send it on over, and then anyone's there that, that, are, that you know are, are appropriate, then I'll get them on the website as well, show them off, and you can see uh, some examples of some already there at the website at logicalgeekboy.com. As the series progresses, I normally get questions about what mods or data packs or textures or anything like that that I'm using. So just uh, a little bit of uh, information is all of that stuff will be linked in the description below uh, through the episodes. So in terms of mods, I normally use things like Replay Mod or Mini HUD, uh, that kind of thing. I'm also using Carpet Mod this time around. And the main reason for that so far is to turn off the spawn chunks. 
Uh, that's because we're not going to have any farms there and uh, yeah it will save some performance and also means that uh, we won't have a load of mobs loaded and filling up the mob cap. So that's the first thing we're using at the moment. So yeah that's uh, that's something to remember. I'm using uh, vanilla tweaks for textures and we've got data packs like mob heads that kind of thing. Standard stuff really uh, these days. Uh, that, but links to all those things are in the description. And here it is all finished, our humble abode, our starter house uh, for this world. Looking pretty cool, right? Looking pretty cool. Right, let's have a quick uh, let's have a quick tour around. Still got some chests over here I need to get inside, but uh, yeah, we'll look at that in a second. So yeah, have a look outside first of all. So we've got a little pen over here for some for some cows. Obviously, we could breed them up and do some manual farming to start with. Obviously, farms, ultimately farms and stuff will come uh, in the future. We've got a little mini stable over here for a couple of horses. They are over there. Oh, and there's a wandering trader. <laughs> So yeah, we've got these horses in here. Obviously, with no saddles at the moment. I used the I used the golden apple I crafted up uh, to lure them over, and then we've got some chickens, a little chicken coop over here, so we could obviously yeah uh, you know, farm these guys. Got some eggs in there, so we've got some barrels for some storage and stuff like that, and also yeah some hay bales, whatnot, some cool stuff. Yeah, looking pretty cool, right? Looking pretty cool. So let's have a look around the back. The back is not too uh, not too interesting just yet. It's kind of uh, <laughs> kind of more of the same. Got the windows there, window boxes, that kind of stuff. A little attic up there we can look at in a second. But yeah, I think the plan here is uh, on the outside here, we've got a lot of area here that we can turn into like some farmland and some other other buildings, that kind of thing. Uh, so that will come uh, in the future. This is just our first, you know, our st first starter house. Right, so let's pop inside. So we go up here and we can go in the front door. Close this up and we've got our dogs. We've got, uh, <laughs> we've got Ripley and we've got, uh, we've got Indiana here waiting for us. So when you come inside, we've got this way, we've got a little bedroom here, uh, got these brewing stands that we've got from the villages and some storage over here, got an enchantment set up all done, ready to go, got all the bookshelves and whatnot. That's all in here. We've got, if we come this way, we've got a little little corridor that leads out into a little balcony out here. Again, another window box and stuff like that so we can look out and survey the land, <laughs> looking pretty cool. And if we go back inside, we can go up to the attic. So over here, we've got a little ladder here, we can go up up into the attic space so nothing in here just yet but we can use this uh, for something you know we need, it needs clearing out we've got these cobwebs in here yeah, the spiders have moved in already so we need to clear that out but that could be useful uh, for something in the future so we can we can come back to that at a later date and the last thing is we've got a little basement down here so we can go down these stairs and down here is where we've got our storage so yeah so our starter storage obviously just some manual chests we can label these up put some things in using candles to uh, to light up there's a bee nest uh, just uh, just over the way uh, that I've been AFK in at to get the first few honeycomb and then we've got our smeltering area over here uh, depending on what we're smelting so obviously ores and stuff normal furnaces some smoker there's for food as well so this is pretty cool and these uh, yeah so it's a bit a bit darker down here because of the candle light but of course because we're 118 these uh, we can have you know a darker area and it looks a bit more you know it looks a bit more like a like a cellar like a like a like a you know underneath the underneath the main house oh so yeah pretty cool pretty cool pretty happy how this turned out and obviously we've got an, a door right here that can lead us out into the cows and then come out here and meet our guest has he got anything anything good no of course not <laughs> okay but i'll leave him be leave him be for the time being but yeah that's the starter house looking pretty sweet now that we've built our house and we've got our pets that I love already, <laughs> those guys are pretty cool. I think I just want to go some fishing. I want to go and do some fishing and just relax because uh, this whole world now we've uh, we've we've escaped the shenanigans of uh, previous worlds that were quite stressful and yeah, a lot of stuff going on. But this world, yeah, it's going to be much more relaxing and yeah, it's time time to just relax. So what better way to relax than go fishing? So let's get our fishing rod out and see if we can catch any fish. Lord Venom, what news of the weapon? We have by searching for its location as we speak, Master. I want that weapon found. But Master, we need an open portal before we can gain access to the other side. Lord Venom, bring me results and not excuses. I hope you are not forgetting your place. With this weapon, 